Leo. What it be, yo? It's it's Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021. We're here to have fun. I hope all of you guys have enjoyed your Easter. I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies, to all my babies for like, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. If there's anyone that would like to book a person personal private reading with me go ahead and click the description box of this video or the about tab on my youtube page um the best way to connect with me for a personal private reading is to send me a message on instagram if you don't have instagram just feel free to shoot me a message over at scorpion breads at gmail.com just send me an email okay if these videos resonate and help you you know master the flow of your life help you get the insight that you need and you want to send some love over to the page to help us grow over here um there's also various links in the description in the about tab where you can just send some love and support over to the page so again i just want to say thank you in advance for all the love and support that you guys send over to my channel so leo you know that as we always do we always give acknowledgement praise thanks and just a warm welcome to father god the creator of the universe whatever it is that you call him we always want him right here by our side to just help and guide us and give us the information and the guidance that we need so if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me so that we can just say a quick prayer father god thank you so much for just elevating us and bringing us here for the sign of leo we thank you so much for just making us strong we thank you so much for just making our blessings just you know stand tall and just you know it's like our blessings is just towering over us and just giving us so much shade it's just keeping us you know shaded over all of everything that is going on in this world we're just being covered and just anointed by our blessings father god so i thank you so much for just you know just keeping those rain showers away from us because we don't need it we didn't had enough rain we didn't we, we didn't had enough rain to last a lifetime like our ground is fertile and it has all the the nutrition and stuff that we need so right now we need the flowers to come out and them bees to come out and pollinate this earth father god we ready for things to start jumping out and growing father god we ready for these blessings to really start showing in our life father god so we just thank you so much for just putting your hands around the sign of leo father god please give us the guidance that we need today for um the sign of Leo for April 2021. And we thank you for the blessings that you've given us today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so Leo, let's get into this. Um, <clears throat> over here we have general energy, uh, finance, and career. And over here we got love. We got love. So we're going to take one card from each one of these decks over here and two cards over here. Okay, so let's get into, let's get into the... Let's get into it. All right. All right. So give me some guidance for Leo. April 2021. All right. Guidance for. You got the stone. And I'm here in solid as a rock. I can't remember the words. That's all I can remember. It's solid as a rock. And ha 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 ha. Okay, who's out there still getting them hot stone massages? Have y'all ever had one of those? I've never had one, but I could only imagine it's probably very comfortable and soothing, especially if it's someone that got them at the right temperature and really putting the right pressure and know what they're doing. Oh my goodness. Shout out to all of y'all that be giving out them good back massages in the name of Jesus. Hello, how you doing? All right. I like that stone. That stone to me gives me solidarity it gives me that um it gives me someone that is solid but at the same time you know um 
what are those uh, machines where you put the rocks and stuff in it? It's like a little tumbler, and then you keep tumbling the rocks and stuff, and then it comes out, and then it's like nice and smooth and rounded, like how this, um, what is this? This is African opal. African green opal but it's like they put the stones in this little machine and it smooths it out so it's like even though you're solid solid as a rock sometimes some rocks depending on how they come they can have some sharp edges and stuff like that so even though you're solid that doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to be smoothed out to be refined to be polished to be a polished gem you know so Hmm. I definitely feel like you're in that polished tumbling stage. Like, I don't know. Even, I'm even getting, okay, now I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing like a tumbleweed, even though that has nothing to do with a freaking stone. But it's kind of giving me like um, a vision of like the wheel. Like, I don't know, like I'm seeing like caveman time. Like literally they probably did take big boulders and things like that. And that was, that probably was the first tire. You know what I'm saying? Like putting stones and smoothing and rounding it out. And, you know, I'm pretty sure, like I know that they play with that, like, you know, on, um, the Flintstones and things like that. But, I'm getting like a, a a rounding, a sense of like transportation, like something rolling, something rolling. Like, yeah, it's like rolling, a rolling stone up, oh. <laughs> solid as a rock and then a rolling stone. And then in regards to the success oracle deck, you got the Invard Camprod, Invard Camprod. Am I saying that right? Is this the man that made Ikea? Ain't he giving you Ikea? Don't that look like Ikea in the back? Y'all to Google that. Is he, is he the man that created Ikea? It says a good business model requires self-assembly. It definitely is Ikea. Your customer is your co-worker. Privacy loves company. Hmm. So good, a good business model requires self-assembly. Your customer is also your co-worker. And listen, that's exactly how IKEA is. It's like you buy something from us, but it's like you got to put it together yourself. So um, with this stone here, now they're saying Stonehenge. See, I don't know that much about Stonehenge. I know it has something to do with um, spirituality and everything like that. But... Okay, now that okay, so now that like literally people do worship statues, they worship rocks, they, they it has meaning, it has energy, it has like purpose. Like again, like I said, a stone is something solid, it's something firm, you know. Um, but it's still something that could be molded, it could be shaped, it could be carved into something. Um, it's something that could. You can, like, even crystal, all of these rocks, all of this, they're all solids, right? But they all have different purpose. This is, like, lithium. I forget what the other, uh, name, I just know that they use this, that this can create lithium. Right? So, it's like... Being able to pray your intentions into a stone, into a crystal, being able to take something solid and turn it into a statue. That way it has like spiritual purposes to it. It's something that is a work, even though it's a rock, it's a worship statue. It's something about your solidarity and you're able to reassemble yourself or assemble yourself in a way where it makes you look more polished. It makes you look more presentable. It makes people think like, damn, maybe I could put something like that in rotation as well. Because remember, it was a rugged rock when you first got it. But once you put it in that stone polish machine, whatever that thing, where it's continuously going in a circular motion, it comes out smooth. 
trust me, this Ryan Ryanites don't it did not come out like this. They polished it. They did whatever the heck they did to it to make it like that. And again, privacy loves company. Hmm. So I'm getting where it says that, okay, because they're saying like a worshipped monument. Like, even though it's a private statue, it's something that's just sitting there by itself. It's worshipped by so many people. These monument, these statues, which is nothing but a rock. But some person put intentions in it. Some person put meaning in it. Somebody molded that stone. Someone shaped that stone. Someone beautified it and gave it purpose it refined it it polished it it turned it into something else where where it's this private entity this private monument this private sculpture this private thing that you built for yourself it's not as private as you think because it's loved by many privacy loves company do you understand what i'm saying so it's something here that i feel like you're going to set in stone. You're going to create. Not only create for you. But create for the benefit of others. That other people can work with you. To work with you. Like I said with Ikea. Your customer is your co-worker. So I'm giving you the product. You assemble it to put it together. It's going to make all of us look, at, look good. Because not only do you have a nice piece of furniture in your house. But you learn how to assemble some shit on your own. Whereas though. Next time when it comes to putting some things together, you might not pay that extra money for something that you can do for yourself. So it's like you're buying something to me, but I'm helping you develop your own skill set as well. Am I making any sense? Let me keep going because I feel like I'm blabbering. Whatever. Yes, they're like set in stone, like a polished skill. You're setting in stone a polished skill right here. Something that's going to have you solid. Something that's going to give you a name. Something that's going to set forth a mark. Something that's going to set forth a trend. It's like... It's like whoever first created the desire for diamonds and jewelry. Whoever it was that found these stones these jades and all of this stuff and put meaning to it to give it value that's what you are like that's what you're about to do who just looked at these rocks and said that they were valuable who looked at these rocks and decided to turn them into diamonds and sell it do you understand what i'm saying so it's something that you're about to set in stone and about to change the game because only ikea made other people feel like you can do it too. Give me one card, please. One card, thank you. This is the Five of Cups in the reverse. I like this. So it's like whatever in the past that you were worried about, it's not worth crying over no more. You finally are like self validating yourself. You see the sun's shining outside, the seasons are changing, the trees are starting to wake up, the butterflies and the bees are flying around. It's like, I, like what am I sitting around waiting for, worried about last year's learned lessons? You know what I'm saying? Like, those learned lessons are today's earned blessings because I do feel like a level of refinery, of self-love, of skill, of dedication, of wants. You know what I'm saying? Of want of desire. Like, you might have lost three cups, but you got two cups. And it only takes two. It just takes two to tango, baby. It's like, I just need me being dedicated to me and my happiness and the sole purpose of my prominence and my happiness in life. And I need someone that's on the same page with me, that's on the same wavelength, that's on some soulmate connected bad shit so we can take over the world of some pinky in the brain shit. That's all I need. I don't need all of this and everything that I went through in the past don't define me. You know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do is to take that 
and turn it into this. I'm going to take that to which I learned from in the past and that has shaped and set in stone me refining myself today. I'm not crying over no more failed circumstances in my past. The past was the past. I'm focused on the present. I'm a leader and I'm destined for greatness and can't nobody tell me otherwise. So it's like, it's like Leo is at this page where it's like, I'm glad that I purged whatever emotional lack that was. You know what I'm saying? Because there was something lacking in me that kept me there, that kept me wanting something that was meant to change me. It was fit, it was literally meant to set something in. It was meant to get something rolling for me. It was only set in stone for that to happen so that I could refine and polish myself to who I am today, to this money marker that I'm about to set. Because I can't do it all myself, nor do I want to do it by myself. Your customer is your co-worker. Privacy loves company. So what's the point of me building something that only I myself understands and cherish? I don't want to create a private collection of amazing shit. It's like, oh, you're private. Only nobody knows about it. No, I want the world to experience this private collection. That way it ain't so private no more. Let me stop. I, I definitely feel like you guys are not focused on yesterday's old spill milk. You are focusing on creating some new shit for the future. It's like you got a whole new enterprise. You have a whole new. It's like you have a whole new model. A whole new model. What is this? Study. I'm focused, man. Reading, researching, and education will help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So remember I said something about being polished something rolling i'm seeing a rotation i was even talking about the little tumble machine that polishes the, the stone and everything something being set in stone a rolling stone remember i was saying something about that um this studying and looking even how this car if you put it in the upright you see the out right there you see all of the eyes and everything so I want to say, I want to say maybe you're looking back at yourself and how you watched yourself like struggle to, to release and let go and focus on all these old memories and stuff. I want to say that you're studying um, like people's attachments, like what makes people so attached like that where you got this whole, because you understand it now. It's like I got this whole new life. Um, I like I'm living in the results of what it is to finally let go and release something so that your future can start adding up. You know what I'm saying? So that you can see the fruits of what the future has to give you, what the future has to hold for you. Like I get it. Um, I feel like you guys are studying what it is that make people hold on, not release and let go so that they can get comfortable with receiving and wanting joy in their life, wanting better in their life. Because you remember the five of cups in the upright is someone that is focused on the past. They're focused on frustration. They're not even thinking about the future because they're only interested in the current hurt. They're not even focused on today or tomorrow. They're focused on what happened yesterday. And if I could just, if I did it for me, I could do it for you. But at the same time, you got to be my co-worker in this shit. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to make this shit work for the both of us. Because I figured something out that if you, because it's, it's that little stone thing. It doesn't just get smoothed out 
on its own, someone has to put forth that time and dedication and keep turning that wheel for them rocks to keep running around or going around. Or at least that's the old school way. I think that that's how they do it. I, I'm pretty sure they have some type of electronic way to do it now. Um, but still, it's someone. It's still someone setting in motion that rotation. If you're not going to work with me to set forth the rotation and rotation, I could give you the materials, but you got to do the work. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? So it's something about this Leo group right here. It's like y'all watched y'all self suffer. You know what you went through. So it's like, how can I package this? How can I turn this into a commodity that could be sold, a top commodity? That could be so where people can believe instead of going and being impressed by other people that already have this put together product. How in the fuck can I get people to not rely on them and rely on their self? If I give you the materials, how can I make you trust yourself that if you set this in stone that you could get this to work and you could do it by yourself? I don't know how this man from our kid did this shit that make us I know people to today instead of just going to Ashley's or <laughs> wherever to get their furniture. They want to go to Ikea and I don't even think Ikea furniture is all like that. I mean, I think it's the most basic shit, but, but people love the Ikea look. With the most basic, expensive as fuck shit that you gotta put together yourself. Like, how the fuck does he do it? I don't know what he did, but he need to let me know. So, I, he need to let me know. <laughs> but it's like someone is studying it. I feel like in a different way. In a different market, but kind of like the same feeling almost. Like... I'm about to teach people how to help themselves. I'm going to give you the resource, but you're going to have to do it yourself. And I'm just going to give you the instruction manual. But you, you wouldn't even buy anything from my kid if you don't believe that you could put it together yourself. You know? So give me guidance. Give me one card. Okay. You got the pleasantry in a pastime card in the reverse. Isn't this what it says? Yeah, pleasant pastime. This came out in the reverse. So I feel like this it's like it's time to get that work in. I don't know if you guys have been sitting around, you've been kicking back on a vacation, you've been enjoying yourself. And again, remember I told you the five of cups is someone that is no longer focused on the past anymore when it's in the reverse. Like you're totally focused on what the future has lot for you ahead. You're not worried about any of that old shit anymore. It's actually the fuel to your fire to kick you in motion to move forward towards your current future blessings. So the two of diamonds represents like um, I want to say like banter, communication, like invitations and stuff. So it's like you guys possibly could be invited to a lot of different things where you can go out and party. Especially with the pleasant pastime. It could be with people that you've known before and everything. And that you hang out with all the time. But with this coming out in the reverse to me and telling me like playtime is over. You know, it, I feel like it's about more intellectual connections. It's about more things that's going to benefit you. And it's going to like if you're going to a social engagement networking party where you're kicking back and you're enjoying yourself but at the same time you're getting some working at the same time then we can do it all day i'm totally open to those invitations but if y'all just talk about just partying getting drunk fucking hanging out doing no mm -mm, something that's not going to benefit me i like i don't have time for that those days are over like it's just like i'm not interested in it as much as I used to be. Um, again, I'm getting this. They're saying Stonehenge. Y'all tell me what the fuck Stone. Can y'all someone put in their um, information about Stonehenge? Because I don't know what the fuck Stonehenge is. It's like I'm getting some type of worship or dedication, a like supreme focus on you being solid and firm. It's like your purpose has been realized. You have the wisdom, the clarity. The resolution, the understanding, you've been regenerated. It's like 
you've harnessed this power within yourself. And it's like, I'm so firm. I have the direction. And you just kind of have this personal rhythm set in stone. Do you understand? You have this personal rhythm set in stone. So it's like, I don't want to play no more. Hold on. What's that song? I don't want no parties. Uh, pull up and uh, 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 and uh, uh, uh. Ain't guess how I get that. Uh, look, no more parties. You understand? You must don't know me, baby. <laughs> yes. Pull up in that. Uh, uh, in that. Uh, uh. I'm sorry. I like. I hated this song at first. I was like, what the fuck is this song? <laughs> oh my goodness. But when she started the song, talking about these niggas want to eat off my plate. Now, you know, I, like, she was spitting some shit in the beginning of the goddamn song. I was like, hold on. What's this little cute girl talking about? Like, yes. Like, no more parties. No more parties. There's no more parties. Like, this business is all shit. It's set in stone. I'm not focused on the past. I'm studying. I'm trying to get my grind on. Let me tell you what the two of diamonds mean real quick. Before we hop into anything else, honey. You must don't know me, baby. The two of diamonds. The two of diamonds means intellectual exchanges, financial partnerships, a small money card, a payment made or received, written correspondence, financial news, a settlement or bill, insurance papers, a written report, independence. A fertile imagination, a writer, a journalist, financial help or loan, the stomach, the food, a kitchen. You see what I'm saying? So, again, remember, this is in the reverse. So, unless it's intellectual exchanges, financial partnerships, something where we can make some little money together. Like I said, the small money card. I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it to do it. Like, all this playing around is not benefiting me none. So, let's get into the love. Let's get two cards for Leo. Two cards for Leo, please. Okay, you got deception, Lord. Got deception. And then you got let go of control issues. Okay, so they're saying someone's not being real with themselves here. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship and let go of control issues. So to me, this is a situation where it's like, you know, full and well, someone's kicking you bullshit and trying to tell you that it's sweet tea. Straight kicking you bullshit, trying to feed it to you sweet tea. You need to um, release the need to want to know everything. To want to control every aspect of the situation. Because this is someone It's like... I'm not going to let you leave me. I'm going to leave you. Or it's, it, it, it's something about. Um, they're saying like it's a boundary not being receptive. Or being. Yeah. It's like a boundary that's not being receptive. Because. It's like. Knowing that someone don't want to do right by you, but at the same time, not want to let you go. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is someone else. And it can also be you. Like, this is someone that you know that this person don't want to do right by you. But at the same time, I don't want to let you go. Like, I don't want them, but I don't want nobody else to have them type of thing like that. So, it's like, don't allow your want or your need to control a situation and like to just allow everything that you really really the enrichment that you deserve to just go down and drain just because you won't let something that you don't need go do y'all understand what the hell i'm saying because i know people like that allow this situation to unfold naturally stop trying to like call and contact people tell motherfuckers this my man or are you talking to these people don't you don't gotta do all of that everything will come to the light and if you even think that there's deception going on baby pull up in that uh uh like come on party's over you must don't know me baby like what Tuh. look we can get some real shit set in stone up over here because like if you over here telling me lies and 
you know, mm -mm. baby, you must don't know me, baby. Give me two for Leo. You got the hermit. Someone needing time to themselves to kind of. It's like they say, I, I, it's like someone is needing time to themselves right now to analyze the science because it's like I've seen this shit before and I'm not going to let them do this to me again is what you're saying to me. And I, I, they're saying something about someone acted a fool in the past. It's like I acted a fool in the past. In this situation, this time, I feel like you just need to relax and let this situation go. You understand? You need to let the situation play out naturally. Just watch the signs. Like the hermit card is to me is when someone you could be around all the rah rah. You could literally be in the party, but you might not be engaging with these motherfuckers like that the same way because it ain't benefiting me. So I'm just sitting around watching you, and I'm just watching the signs. And this is someone going within their self. Have y'all ever been in a situation like that where it's like a whole bunch of shit going on, but it's like you're literally inside your own thoughts, having a conversation with yourself in your own mind, watching and peeping the scenario, studying motherfuckers. You feel me? You must don't know me, baby. I'm sorry. Why I just I pull up in that uh uh in that uh uh. <laughs> And it gets how I get that. Uh, <laughs> they try to figure out how did you know this? How did you fucking know these signs? But you must don't know me, baby. Listen, that shit come from within, baby. Listen, I listen to my inner self. My inner self is wealth. Okay, told me be on stealth mode. Okay, watch these motherfuckers. Stop trying to control shit and be all up in the business. Everything is going to come out naturally. You know when some shit come, just sit back and watch. Watch the signs. Watch the signs. Let the spirit lead you. That's a lot, and I'm not taking that. I said two cards. Thank you very much. What is this? The three of pentacles in the reverse. So this is something that's not working anymore. Um, and again, now they're saying releasing the power trip. Someone is like releasing the power trip. It's like, because to me, have you ever tried to take a class or a course and it's like you're trying your best to understand something, but then you just realizing, look, I'm just not good at this shit. So like, I'm not going to keep wasting my money going to school for something that I, re I just don't get it. I don't understand it. It doesn't matter with teacher. It doesn't matter if y'all teach me in inside, outside, how y'all try to get me to understand and educate me on the subject. I just don't get it. Maybe I just don't want to learn it. I just, I'm not interested in, I'm not interested in learning. Do you, you, you understand what I'm saying? So this is the three of pentacles. So we already know that there's some deception going on here. You needing to let go of control issues or trying to understand everything, trying to know everything. Um, I feel like even your level of investigation, like questioning people, because like there are certain people that are scared to interrogate someone to call someone or pull up on someone. Be like, um, no, that's my man. Oh, that's my girl. Not no Leo. Y'all heart don't pump no Kool-Aid. But it's because you want to know and you want to get to the bottom of the situation and you want to address it. But sometimes, just chill. Listen, just chill. Let go of your need to try to be the fucking boss. Crisscross applesauce and let the Lord show you. The, the, he going to break it down to you. This situation ain't working no more because there's more than just two people in this party. Do you understand? And even when you look at this, you see how that triangle is it's on the top? Because it's like a circle is something that it, it goes around continuously. So as soon as it starts off, it's going to kick back and it's going to keep going, keep going. Indefinitely, it's not going to stop. It's just going to keep going. So you got two, three circles, right? You got a square. 
a square represents four corners north south east and west that is like a completion you know but a triangle that's an odd number it's odd do you understand what i'm saying a love triangle it's just, like it's odd like even when you think of the illuminati what do you think of the sign of the fucking pyramid like do you understand what i'm saying so it's like it's odd so and tarot threes are odd as fuck i don't give a fuck like this the three of pentacles is typically someone uh being taken under their wing by a teacher that's trying to teach somebody something it's like a student or something i don't i don't want to understand this shit I, it's like, I don't want to know. So, I don't, and, and that's what I'm getting. It's like, I don't want to know. I, it's like, in your heart, in your mind, I feel like you're learning how to intuit intuitively catch the signs and figure it out on yourself. It's like, I physically do not need you to teach me and run me through no crash course of the you ain't shit. Uh, <laughs> episode of this season. Like, no. It takes two to tango. Three? I don't know. Mm -mm. And, and, no. That's a third party situation. This is like supposed to be a one on one tutoring session. How can I get my questions out if you're constantly giving your attention to another pupil? It's not a wise investment of my time. And again, with that deception there, that let go of control issue, like with the hermit, intuitively, you know within yourself that something is a crock of bullshit and a bunch of lies and something is it adding up. Something isn't working out the way that it did before because when it was just me and you and you was focusing your energy on drawing and making this painting for me, Things were working. I was things were going along in a timely fashion. Now that you don't picked up this extra work and you're doing something for somebody else, you're not seeming like you're as focused on me. You're not focused on my project. You're not getting the work work done the way that you wanted to. And I would have never invested my time in you if I known that you weren't going to be focused on me and you're going to be jumping back and forth between me. No, mm -mm. it's like you could go ahead and stop that project and give me my money back because I don't even want it no more. Because you're not putting your passion into it. You're not. Your attitude is changed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Ever since. It's like someone's paying attention to the signs. Like ever since you started giving your energy or your time or your effort. And your honesty to someone else. It's like you, you, you haven't been giving it to me. And it seems like for what you were doing for me in the past. It seems like you don't want to do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't want to do it, I don't want to do it even. I don't even want to understand. I don't care. Like, I've released the need to want to know and understand every little fucking stupid ass thing people do. I'm just looking at it as it is what it is. Deception, something ain't right. And I'm just, I'm just kicking. I, this hermit card, like, it's like you're going inside and you're going with your gut. You're paying attention to the signs. That's what I'm getting. Something ain't right. Something's not adding up. You got the Cupid arrow and then the kiss. So this says, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. An invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Kisses. Unconditionally loving. Giving, receiving, affection. Falling in love. I like this. So. Again. Let things happen the way it's supposed to happen. Don't fight with this person. It's, it, don't question this person. If this person want to be out doing whatever they want to do, go let them do what they want to do. I feel like something is going to just fade out naturally. It's just not. Eventually, it's just not going to work. I feel like the time and the effort is just not going to be there. Where it's like, you don't even have to put up a fight. It's like this is having someone dropping out of school, someone getting fired. Because um, the Three of Pentacles could be someone like losing employment. Um, like I said, being kicked out of school for like lack of creativity, lack of effort, 
lack of attendance or something like that. It's like you've been too tardy for the party. And it looks like someone else has kind of stepped in and filled up that intention gap. That's what it seems like to me. It's like once you stop struggling and trying to force some understanding to some shit it's not meant to be to understand only thing you just need to understand is something ain't right don't try to cut because the control issue to me is you trying to get motherfuckers to confess and say that they did something wrong or for you to try to catch somebody i don't want to catch nobody doing shit i don't want to see that shit just allow them motherfuckers just to fall off you don't call them they don't call you you know, focus on the signs. Focus on what your energy is telling you. Like, new love is coming your way. You got the seven of torches. One more, please. Yeah, it's... With the seven of torches, and what is this, the six of cups? The seven of torches here, it's like... It's been an uphill battle for you. I feel like it's been too much accusations of who did this and who said what and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Like, at the end of the day, like, I don't want you to feel like you got to defend yourself against bullshit or that you're even, like, challenging someone, trying to get them to confess on what they did. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Some battles are not even worth the fight. You got the Six of Cups here. Why fight and argue with them to tell them something that you intuitively know what was going on? But you could focus on someone that will give and honor you and love you the way that you love them. The Six of Cups is when you are giving and you're receiving right back. You're being courted on. You're being shown off to the friends. You're being introduced to the family. You feel like a kid again. You got them butterflies in your stomach. Why keep getting caught off guard with some bullshit? It's not working. If you look inside and pay attention to the signs, you will understand that. You can't force someone to do or be or see what you want them to see. If they don't love you, somebody else will. Allow yourself the space and the opportunity for Cupid to find you. Strike you on your cute little butt. And for someone to send them caramel kisses your way. Y'all remember that song by Faith called Caramel Kisses? Caramel kisses you send my way. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I can't remember the rest of the damn words. But I just remember that part. Caramel kisses. Anyway. Stop fighting. It's like you don't need to understand no more. Only thing you need to understand is God got the master plan. God got the master plan. I feel like um, playtime is over in regards to this shit. I feel like this has set in stone this. And it's no purpose of you sitting around crying anymore over what fail to happen and make what's meant to happen really happen and if you have to put that energy and focus in yourself when motherfuckers was not focused on you so be it because yesterday's trash is going to be tomorrow's treasures do you understand so what they didn't want from you yesterday there's going to be somebody new that's going to cherish and appreciate that shit today do you understand what I'm saying? So don't focus on what ain't focused on you. Continue to love on yourself and continue to set major shit in stone. Okay, Leo, I love you. Continue to love yourself. I'll see you next time. Peace.